uh, on high uh, uh, priority of ECU's agenda. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, this will have uh, great dividends. Uh, uh, member country will benefit immensely. For example, if we can have connectivity of, of uh, railways from Central Asian countries to Pakistan through road, this will be a game changer. Definitely, sure. And um, you know, we can transport um, you know, oil from Central Asian countries to Gawadar, gas, to Gawadar have uh, you know uh, um, you know plants over there to convert into into LNG and then to export to the world and then industrial and agricultural projects. So I think sky is the limit, uh, yes, uh, brother Yash. Yes, I think yes, let's uh, uh, work on these lines, and I would uh, encourage you to uh, to uh, create an environment to host a uh, issue. Uh, uh, member countries uh, summit, uh, including uh, Central Asian states, and have a you know proper uh, homework done, you know agenda, you know through consensus, uh, you know we agree on agenda, and then let's have a discussion. This will give a big push and pits to uh, your efforts. Yes, right. As you said, excellent. Sky is limit. We should work as much as. For example, I'll just uh, give you an example. Yes. For these floods, I mean, uh, affectees, uh, uh, Turkey sent uh, goods through a railroad also, rail transport. But then we would offload them in Zaidan and then reload them and then bring it to, uh, to, uh, to Pakistan, to Balochistan. Again, we would offload them at uh, probably Chavi or somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is a major and then, and yes. because of uh, 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 because of a different system of uh, yes. of uh, rail railways. Yes. So if we, if we had, uh, have a feasibility yes. done, and uh, you know, in order to create uh, you know you know harmony and uh, you know synchronize the system, it have some uh, it requires some initial investment, but once it is undertaken. This will uh, change the landscape, economic landscape, and will have huge dividends for Iran, for Turkey, for Pakistan. Oh, for this region, yes. And, uh, yes, and this will become, uh, mm, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, an economic, uh, you know, uh, uh, line for uh, our uh, regional cooperation. Yes. yes and sure. from the other side, from Central Asian states, yes. uh, we can have this connectivity. This will be a, a mini European Union. Except as it so is, this is a loading unloading problem that actually exists in road transport also. Of course. Yes, road transport. And then a, a project, a investment in agriculture, in industry, and uh, we have uh, uh, supplementary and complementary you know, devices. For example, if uh, Pakistan, let's say, produces item A, and those items in Turkey and Iran, are produced at a higher cost. We will export that to Turkey and Iran. And what Turkey produces at a, at a, at a cheaper cost will be imported from Turkey from, to Pakistan and to Iran. And what Iran produces. So this has to be a three-way economic uh, cooperation model. Sure. And this is how we can promote our, 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 our economies, our you know, workforce, and expand our uh, portfolio. This is the project, this is one of the projects we are been discussing in ECO Secretary, ECO Secretary uh, Excellence. So it's no sure, no doubt. It's, it would be a great opportunity for our region to have such a uh, project like railroad or uh, normal road road. It would be perfect, as you said. Mr. President, I'd like to invite you to Pakistan and along with your uh, uh, members. Uh, most welcome. Uh, we, will we will play a host to you. Welcome to Lahore, Islamabad. Very nice country, very big yes, country. And, we have, uh, and we are brothers. And, uh, we felt very close to us, uh, especially after visiting those areas. I felt uh, uh, very close uh, those regions. I felt very close to me. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you very much. Inshallah, we, we, we have a chance.
जब लगे सिचुएशन है